This is the biography of one of the unique pioneers of jazz and improvised music across the globe and a saxophonist who for me has virtually single-handedly reinvented both the instrument that is the saxophone and the role of that instrument in jazz and improvised music over a 40-50 year period. I came to Evan Parker as a fan without really knowing any sort of context for him. I just started turning up at improvised music gigs without really being aware of the history of it and he just seemed to be one of the most uh, amazing performers I'd ever seen. Someone that made you think really differently about sound and space and time and how music worked and how you related to it. I first saw Evan Parker play at a solo soprano saxophone gig at the London Musicians Collective in Camden in the mid late 70s and what emerged is continuous flowing multi-layered sound and I just thought, well, where's the other three or four players you know, in this room? But there isn't. There's one man creating this absolutely amazing sound, a mixture of incredible virtuosic technique and spontaneous creativity. For me, in that moment, the music and my understanding of jazz and what I could get from this music changed completely and has remained changed in that direction ever since. Evan Park is not only part of that first wave of free improvisers, but has also continued to evolve and be a really vital part of the scene for decades now. I mean, I was very lucky because one of the first, as a piano player many years ago, the first gig I ever played myself was actually with Evan Parker, who was very generous towards younger emerging players and always has been. But that was the start of um, a very long-standing friendship. And gradually over the years, the idea that there was a biography here, a biography of the player, but also to some extent a biography of the music that's inherent in that um, emerged. And um, I'm very lucky to have um, Evan's support in this project and of course access to the incredible archive there is, both of Evan's own playing and, and of jazz and free improvisation around his work over, over the last you know, many few years. Yeah, I met Peter when he was 16 and was playing very well. Peter Erpeth has a knowledge of this music, which I think will make for an informed approach. Uh, he's been listening and playing himself for, for a long time. He knows my story. The right of this biography is going to be very much based on a series um, of uh, interviews with Evan himself, um, giving first-hand accounts. Um, my approach is very much that of wanting to pass on my passion and understanding of this and to tell what I think is a really fascinating story not just about a pioneering virtuoso musician but about the era in which um, the musician emerged and developed and what that shows us almost as a kind of cultural history. I hope that uh, Peter Erpus book about Evan Parker is something that you feel you'd like to help make happen partly because I'd like to read it and so would lots of people I know but in a way it's an exciting book because it's sort of happening still, even though this music's been around for half a century. It still feels like it's vaguely uh, a subversive thing to do, to document something that official art channels haven't quite recognised as being as significant as important as it is. And uh, so it's, it's a great opportunity to, to help buy Peter up with the time to do the best possible job on this piece of work. And to do that, you can go to www.unbound.co.uk. Mm -hmm.